Seven months after a prison riot claimed the life of a corrections officer in Delaware, a study singles out blame. It all happened at Vaughn Correctional Center near Smyrna back in February. Alex Dimitri reports it boils down to a state too slow to spend money for more staff. For 18 hours last February, inmates blocked the doors in a unit of Delaware's James T. Vaughn Correctional Facility. It took a backhoe for police to break in and free staff that had been taken hostage and remove the body of Sergeant Stephen Floyd, who was murdered during the takeover. We lost one of our family members, and it pains my heart to make these statements. While police escorted Floyd's body away from the prison, the Correctional Officers Union spoke out. We've been asking for help. From the previous governor, and we got none. That help was the need for more corrections officers. A just released study of prison conditions backs up that claim. Staffing absolutely has to be number one, <clears throat> and we're working on that. We got a new contract uh, with the hopes of, <clears throat> excuse me, bringing uh, a larger pool uh, to to the vacancies that we have. The study finds chronic understaffing of correctional officers, leading to forced overtime and double shifts, which in turn causes high turnover and then poor training of replacement officers. You're working in an environment where you have to be on your toes, you have to be observant, and you can't be tired, you can't be angry, you can't be frustrated. Which Delaware's governor vows to address before something else takes armed force to bring under control. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. The study also finds inmates need more opportunities to work and learn job skills inside Delaware's prisons.